Good day YouTube and welcome into another Tits Beer Bong 420 Beer Review. Today we're reviewing a beer from a brewery I have not had anything from before. A brewery that exists out in Ottawa, Ontario. A brewery called Hogsback Brewer. Hog Hogsback Brewing Company. Now um, apparently the story is it's like for uh Guys who are like friends and stuff, they used to go out together to like pubs and whatnot and drink beers and enjoy it and wanted to make beers together one day. And like when they're trying to make their brewery's name, eventually a pic one of them showed each other like a picture of like a hog and it was like a prized hog and they went with it for the logo and everything. And apparently, out where they are, there's like a something about like hogs back falls or whatever and apparently they were talking about this guy who would work out there and enjoyed beer and whatnot and this dude they're talking about apparently would give some of the ingredients for uh to john molson who would use it in some of his uh, molson beers and what have you so from the hogs back brewery we have their uh, vintage ale it's 5.2 percent alcohol um european inspired our inaugural flagship uh, blend boasts a rich flavorful delivered from the combination of three malt types. Two row, two row Munich in Vienna, unique Zass hops and German lager yeast. The result is a crisp, extraordinary, well-balanced lager. The ingredients are water, malted barley, hops and yeast. And on this side, craft brewed in Ontario, we strive to provide the finest tasting beer using natural ingredients and traditional small batch brew, uh, brewing. Give it a try and let us know what you think. Hogsback Brewing Company, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Hogsback.ca, their lager thing here is 5.2%. Okay, um, as we see with Hogs Back, they're a vintage lager. I got a three finger uh, pillowy head out of it. It's pretty damn carbonated, just like in a group constantly going up. It's got like, um, like away from light. It's actually, to me, looking kind of like orange and different from your typical lager color. But when I look at it right in front of me, I get a really yellowy color, maybe even urine like a bit, but away, it's like, yeah, that is like rusty copper orange or something. <clears throat> um, it actually doesn't smell like a, ma it smells nothing like a macro, uh, cheaply made chemical lager. No, it doesn't. Thank God. Um, it smells like light and soft and just like, I'm going to tell you, it just smells like an actually decently made lager. Let's try it. 5.2% Hogsback, Ottawa, Ontario. Um, that's a heavier lager and a little bit rougher. But better quality lager, but just heavier. And to me... Kind of rough. It's definitely not something I'm going to say is good or great. I'll say it's a lot better than anything you'll get from like a macro brewery for a lager. Most definitely in better quality. But um, kind of like a European lager. Kind of like maybe even a Vienna lager. And there's some like, like it's got earth, it's got some earthiness in it and some bite. I believe the international bittering units on it is 18, if I'm not mistaken. 
but it's got some bite to it and earthiness and it's kind of like heavy and just I wouldn't say it's gross but I want to say it's a little gross maybe huh little lemon maybe to it too I'll give it a 4 out of 10 because um, I don't find it average and I don't find it disgusting, but I don't find it good. But it's different from what most people are probably used to with lagers if they don't venture away from macro breweries. And it's way better than that stuff. <coughs> Thank you for viewing. Ah.